हेलो फ्यूचर विलेसा इंजीनियर तो आई एम बैक विथ आवर एन पी टी एल बेस्ट कोर्स सजेशन वीडियो दो यू डोंट नो हट इज एन पी टी एल एन पी टी एल यू नीड टू नो या इफ यू डोंट नो दैन एन पी टी एल इज रियली ए ग्रेट प्लेटफॉर्म आफ्टर दिस वीडियो यू विल फॉर श्योर नो हॉट इज एन पी टी एल एंड हाउ टू मेक यूज ऑफ इट सो दिस वीडियो इज जस्ट अवेयरनेस वीडियो फॉर एन पी टी एल नेक्स्ट सेमिस्टर हुई इज गोना स्टार्ट फ्रॉम दिस मंथ ऑनली जुलाई जुलाई ट्वेंटी टू एक्चुअली ऑल द कोर्सेज आर स्टार्टिंग एंड यू कैन रजिस्टर इट टिल जुलाई एंड आई गेस but you need to register as soon as possible and it is free of cost you can register for free of cost but hey for giving a exam you need to pay some amount 1000 i think if it if it haven't changed but uh, i always recommend you to go for the exam because if you go for the exam then you have the feedback feedback loop is there right and as a human being we love to learn anything when we have the feedback so exam is a great way to uh, give you the feedback also there are weekly assignments are there you need to fill it up and also you'll get the grades there is a competition things of the, like that and from my personal experience i have seen any time i register for an ptl course then there is a 90% of chance that i will finish it then just going through a course like audit you are not registering and this semester actually i have one of the very good vilasai course suggestion which is really give you a great depth and also courses suitable for all the year btech first year second year fourth year mtech first year second year probably uh, up until phd and the first course and that is very much important if you are in your junior year of btech like first year second year and you still don't know what you gonna pursue right you are pursuing your electronics and uh, in uh, ec uh, engineering right you don't know about digital electronics you don't know about analog electronics you don't know if you gonna be a real design engineer or not and actually as a fresher just after btech you are going to vlsi industry then they keep on asking all the questions probably not some question from the communication but for sure if it is a digital role also they gonna ask you from analog and also from digital from my own experience when i given my first interview there also it was a digital profile but they asked me uh, many questions from analog circuits so there is a course and it is taken by iit delhi the great part of this course is that is they are not wasting your time discussing about bjt uh, about bjt circuits because currently in our industry we mostly we have up in percentage wise probably most of the chips are made on mosfet only so in this course actually they go in depth from day 1 onward see mosfet day 1 onward they go to mosfet uh, all the circuitry is how we, you need to uh, handle um, like op amp or operation amplifier how to design them what are the basic physics behind that any other course if you take on analog circuits right they start with bjt first they spend half of their time in bjt which is mostly i won't say irrelevant but yeah if you are uh, like short in time then probably it's irrelevant so that's why this course is very good and the teacher is also wonderful he he really teach nicely so you can just go through it if you are in a first and second year of btech and if you are in a senior year of btech and you still don't have a grasp of analog circuits basics then this course is again a recommendation for you going forward to our next course and that is again for the beginner year of btech and that is about digital circuits you know digital circuits how important it is right uh, yeah so analog and digital basic course you must be a expert of so for that you can just go through this course and here if you see the course layout and this actually dealt with all the basic things you need to know as a digital engineer or as a btech guy after that only you can take digital course for the next level so for the next level in my previous videos uh, around npdl i have said already and there we have one course which is not live this year but it is available freely in npdl and that is not in yeah in freely in npdl also in youtube also and that is um, digital circuit design by iit madras it is a very wonderful course but you won't grasp that course if you don't know about these basics also many vitek guy uh, when you are doing your undergraduate you want to learn very long right I also have a very long uh, playlist if you have seen that so in very long playlist I have lot of time dealt about these circuits right we are writing code in the very long but if you don't know the concepts of those circuits then it is it is not making any sense to learn very long so you can say this is a prerequisite for learning very long also so you can uh, consider this going to our third course and in third course actually again is for a beginner level of btech guy first or second year uh, you must know the, these things also for any mtech guy for any btech guy in third and fourth year who are very 
passionate about backend uh, or layout designing of VL uh, VLSI, right? So in layout, we mostly dealt with the physics of the devices, physics of those layers. And this course is must for those guys. In your initial days of BTEC, you can take this course to get a good marks on your subjects because this is a subject which is common for all the university across India. Semiconductor device and circuits, circuits. You need to have, for sure you have one course on it. So you can go through it to get a great grabs on these concepts. These concepts are a little higher probably than BTEC first and second year because it's being done by IIC Bangalore and they keep on uh, and their courses are very much conceptual. So therefore, if you are passionate or if you want to pursue your career in backend design of VLSI and you are in your third, fourth or in your MTEC first and second year or might be in PhD, then also this course make a lot of sense. Actually, I am thinking to revise it because I'm also uh, in physical design arena in VLSI design. Similar to this course, we have another course and which is microelectronics device to circuits. You can take one of this either. Uh, there is no need of taking both of them. But a good thing about this course, microelectronics device circuit is that if you go to course layout, then in the last courses, they are also uh, kind of introducing you to combinational logic sequential logic which will help you actually recall your basic digital so if you are in your third and fourth year of btech digital electronics we have already done a course on but you want to quickly have a revise or recall it then this course is recommended for you for btech first and second year yeah uh, if you want to know like if you haven't taken that course the earlier course i have said right on uh, uh, semiconductor device and um, circuits then you can take this course, Devices Circuits. This is also a similar kind of um, course. Either one will do the work. Now, before I reveal the great course, uh, according to me, uh, we have this semester for any VLSI enthusiast. I have two more courses. And one course which is not too much recommended for the guys of BTEC first, second, third year because you are dealing with your circuits, uh, other courses. But if you have already done all of all of those things, like you are confident with your circuits concepts, analog, uh, digital, verilog, everything is done, and probably mostly suitable for MTech guys, right? Because you already have done, then you can go for these courses. Before I reveal that course, why it is needed? See, uh, as we know, uh, going forward in future, mostly a engineer, any any field, a engineer which have some knowledge of machine learning will be really have an age on it. I don't have much. I also want to develop, but I'll recommend you if you are in your BTEC fourth year, you have already got your placement. You are just roaming here and there, or if you are in your masters and you have some spare time, only spare time. Don't uh, invest the critical time in this course because this is just a additional course the main priority should be on your completing on your circuits courses first and then you can go for this and this is a fully mathematical course because uh, we know anything you want to do in your machine learning the beside underground things and that is the maths and in this course actually they deal, dealt with those and that is your linear algebra for signal processing and data analytics again i am saying it is not a recommended course not a priority course mostly they deal with the linear algebra you must know about linear algebra speaking about linear algebra there is a youtube channel which also make a lot of in-depth video on linear algebra and that is i think three blue one brown also speaking to that uh, in current july semester of nptl there are a lot of courses in machine learning uh, interruption to machine learning reinforcement learning what is artificial intelligence in different languages also i have seen in tamil in bengali in uh, hindi so if you have some issue with english then you can also prefer that right so but any courses you are taking on ai ai is a super set of machine learning everything so any course on ai just do it on your spare time don't spend any time like first spend your time on learning circuits that's the priority that is the base of your cake and the cream of your cake would be any course on machine learning so please keep this in your mind don't deviate from your journey of becoming a VLSI engineer so circuits are important after that there is one course which is like hugely recommended only for mtech guys not for btech guys but hey again if you are in a fourth year you have already got your placement have some spare time then you can go through that this course and that is digital vlsi testing 
So in digital, we have many domain, one of the domain and that is validation domain. Okay, and another is DFT design domain. So DFT stand for design, um, design for test. So we design actually few structures which help us to test the circuitry we have uh, designed, right? And to know in depth, this is the course actually. And why I am saying only senior guys, because here they will assume you already know most of the thing of digital electronic, digital electronic circuits. So therefore only recommended for guys of MTech or fourth year BTEC who have some spare time, okay? And if you know this thing and you can do some questions or project uh, from these courses, then your CV would be a great fit for a DFT design engineer. So, or probably any other field also because in digital design, the profile, most of the profile are adjacent to each other. So for example, a arterial designer also must need to know a little bit about DFT, right? A physical design synthesis guy also need to know a little bit of uh, DFT. So this knowledge of DFT might help you to gain a uh, suitable job on other domain also. Now the best course according to me in this semester we have for the VLSI enthusiasts and that is VLSI design flow, RTL or GDS. This course is a wonderful course for any physical design engineer who want to be a physical design engineer or who is already pursuing uh, in the industry as a physical design engineer to know most of the thing. For BTEC first and second year guys, this is not recommended a course. You have, if you have time, you can go through it, but still I don't recommend. But for BTEC third, fourth, MTEC first, second, this is really a recommended course because here you will get a gist of everything. For example, here, they also deal with one of the module, I think they also give a quick introduction to Verilog. So if you know already Verilog, then uh, you can revise through this course also. So here mostly what they are dealing and that is RTL is there. RTL is nothing but your behavioral domain Verilog code, right? It is there. After that, you need to synthesize it, right? You need to, uh, for example, I want to design A plus B, A adder. So in RTL, I'll write B equal to A plus, like sum is equal to A plus B. Now this A plus B need to be mapped to a real gate, right? So which is in some call synthesis. After synthesis is done, you need to check, uh, equivalency check, formal verification need to be done that here, the RTL is perfectly transferred to the netlist. Netlist means the RTL code, which is mapped to a perfect gate, the gate, which is available in real life. After that, there are a lot of ste step in physical design. Probably I'll make a uh, video on all the steps of PD if you want. You can comment it down. Uh, all the steps like clock design, routing, power. No, not the theory, but here. What are the steps I can write? Theory would take uh, 30 days of uh, lecture. So I can't go so depth, but yeah, uh, I can give you a view. But this course will help you to get those view from the top level. They won't make you expert, but at least you know what are the things are happening in the back end of uh, VLSI design from RTL to GDS. Actually, the same professor also have a book and which is called uh, this, if you see in the camera, VLSI design flow and their courses mostly depend from this book only. And this book is also a great one. You can have this book actually. And this book with this course for sure will make you a great RTL to, RTL to um, GDS design engineer or in, in, in industry we call it as a PD PNR guy. Okay. PNR means play, uh, placement and routing. Uh, PD means physical design. Also in this course, the wonderful thing is that they have dealt with many projects here and uh, they are using EDA tool, right? And those EDA tool are freely available. Uh, they have used open road, which is a uh, freely available uh, RTL to GDS converter, uh, synthesis tool are there like EOSIS I think for synthesis they have used for very long I think they have used something but yeah there are a lot of tutorials are also there and you can do this tutorial extend them a little bit and it become a minor project you can write it in your CV or if you don't write also then you have the confidence that hey I have dealt with so this course is must I have uh, said how many courses probably six seven eight courses you don't need to go through all six seven courses only one is enough Register for one, register means register for the exam, pay the amount and then only you will see that how from inside you will get a motivation because you have paid 1000. So from inside only you get the motivation to feel, uh, to get like to submit all the assignment and get in the top of your rank, uh, like competition is there, right? Also one of my strong recommendation and that is, I'll give this link also where you will get all the courses which are available this semester 
from NPTEL. Many courses I haven't um, discussed here, but probably very important for you. So you just search in the course uh, uh, computer science and also uh, electrical and electronics. These two are um, in our domain and there you can search any courses you want to learn. For example, for example, you are not very good in your uh, those things KVL, KCL, basic electrical theory, right? Then you can just refer to NPTEL. NPTEL, they have one uh, course on basic circuits, I think. I am unable to search it here. But if you go one by one, you will get that course also. For BTEC first and second year, guys, I strongly recommend you because you have a lot of time in your hand. Four months of time in between a semester. In semester also, I know. I have already gone through. You have time actually. If you spend them uh, nicely, then you have a lot of time. You can easily register for one or two courses of NPTEL in each semester and get a... 80 plus marks there you just go through any basic level courses where you think you are your concept are not good from the college professors and yes i am making video after four months of break but um, yeah i had some issues but i'm not sure uh, if i won't repeat it again but i'll try my best to not repeat it and to be little consistent uh, with my work with youtube and all those things and for new people Myself, Rasdeep, and I'm a VLSI engineer. If you want to know more about me, you can check my LinkedIn account here. And if you think this video add a little value to your life, then you can consider subscribing or liking this video. Till then, tata, bye bye.